What is poppin' fam? Spanik here, coach of your Alabama Crimson Surf. And this is week number, I believe, yeah, week number eight. Week number eight of the ICBA. And we're taking on Oja Muscle and the Brisbane Heatrans. Well, initially, this was the same Brisbane Heatrans coached by uh, Chiangi77, but he had a drop for personal reasons. And Oja here took over the team, but decided not to rebrand. This is my, although my record in the uh, title says two and four, and that's only six, this is my week eight game because my week seven game was supposed to be against Johnny GB. But we just, but he's away, he was away when we fought, when the week we had a fight, so he, we got a fight. So he decided to postpone the match till later in the season. So I will be fighting him at some point, but just not yet. <clears throat> it's going to be later in the season. That's why my thumbnail is not the same as it is for my other weeks, because he's still away on vacation. I think he comes back next week or something like that. So just for this one week, it's going to be a little bit off on the thumbnail, but that's all right. That's why also I'm playing on SD, because he records my battles for me. Also, I really restricted. I was really restricted on time for the past week. So that's why I, that's another reason why I'm playing on SD. I don't have the time to j hit up my gen or the gen. SD is just easier for me, because I, I prep on SD. Speaking of prep, let's take a look at what Oja here could have brought to the battle. Actually, before that, I will have two draft recaps coming out in the past. Over the with this coming week, I'll have two draft recaps coming out. One for UTL season five, and the other for the I think it's called MLBA. I just took over a team in that league, and I'll recap the mons I inherited plus my, with my transactions intact. That's a solid team. It's a solid team. I took over in there in. MLBA though I will be the Reno Ace Rolla. There's it's a ba it's a league based off a of baseball based off the MLB. I had to use a baseball related team name for that. Both leagues I will be uploading for. Both are showdown. So let's see what's so let's see what team that what the all the possible mons Oja could have brought to this game. If it's cut off, I apologize. I was playing with OBS settings to meet my showdown thing. And it may have cut off for the team. If it didn't cut off, that's great. If it does, well, so be it. His team is Tyranitar, Azu, Klefki, Crobat, Helios, Slowking, Tangrowth, Dredagon, Audino, Rotom, and Lando I with Sheer Force allowed. So just a brief rundown of what I decided to bring against him. I have Life Orb mixed, not Life Orb, Expert Belt mixed attacking for Hermosa. With Ice Beam, Poison Jab, U-Turn, High Jump Kick. It just, it just has good coverage against his team altogether. Although I wasn't running, I wasn't running that much speed because with I because I just ran enough to outspeed Crobat. I decided not to run enough to get the speed boost because I felt like I really didn't need it. If you, unless we brought like a, I had Scarf Landorus in the back of my mind, but I thought for sure he was gonna bring Yachi. I didn't think he would he would have brought Scarf because then he's easily because if he locks himself into Earth Power, that's a free Dragon Dance for Dragonite. So I thought he was probably gonna run Yachi. Or Life Warp. Which one of those two? Next mod is just Spit F Don Fan. It's one of my answers for Landers. Plus it just does... Spit F Don Fan answers a lot of his team. With, I typically, I believe I have Rapid Spin, three attacks. Three attacks being Gunk Shot, Ice Shard, and, and Earthquake. Ice Shard mainly for Landorus. Get some chip on Tang... Get some chip on uh, Crobat. Chip on Landorus. Chip on Dredagon as well. His team kind of has a pretty big Ice Weakness. And having that priority ice shard could be really nice to get pick off kills on some mons. Next mon, just Fizz Def, Life, not Life Orb, uh, Flame Orb, Militic. Because Azu's a massive problem for me. So I run, so I ran enough speed on this thing to outspeed Azu guaranteed. And I have Haze on it. So if he tries to belly drum on my Militic, I could just click, if he tries to belly drum, I could just click Haze. And. He can't do it, and then Belly Drum, he's not four times attack anymore, and the Azu becomes much easier to deal with. And he, there's no way he could attack first unless he brings Aqua Jet, and I'm a Fizz Def Militic, and Flame Art gives you a plus one. I'm tanking at plus six Aqua Jet. Next one here is Shookaberry Tapu Koko with HP Ice. I think I have HP Ice, U Turn, T Bolt, and Nature's Madness. Nature's Madness just gets a nice chip on everything on his team. Any possible switch, and he has Tapu Koko would probably be the Tangrowth or the Klefki. Both of which they don't like to take the 50% from Nature's Madness. Especially the Klefki. At 
if after Nature's Madness, the Klefki is in range of Dragonite Fire Punch, which I do have on the Dragonite. Plus, the Dragonite is Lumberry DD. So he's uh, after Nature's Madness. He the Klefki, even if he's ma even if he's max fist death, he's in range of Dragonite Fire Punch. So. I, I, no, no, actually, no, I'm mistaken. He's in range of Dragonite Fire Punch at plus one. So I could just, so even if it's T-Wave, I set up a Dragon Dance, eat up that, th eat up that, uh, Lumberry, and then he dies to Thunder Punch. Not Thunder Punch, Fire Punch. And Mesprit is just a, it's just a Fizz Def set because I have had, like, Spidef Donphan handle his Spidef mods enough. So I need a Fizz Def Mesprit as another answer to Azu, potentially another answer to Crobat, potentially an answer to Crobat, or a, uh, and I guess it could be another Landorus answer too, because even because the ground immunity is nice, and really the only attack he can hit me with super effectively is knockoff, which if he's life orb, he does take the life orb damage from that. Okay, so that's essentially my team. So let's so let's get right into this battle. I decided to leave with my Tapu Koko as he leads with his. Dragon. I decided to leave with Tapu Koko here because I felt like it had a decent lead, uh, decent lead matchup against the majority of his team. Like if he led Klefki, that could have been an issue, especially if he had Flash Cannon. But then I would just click Nature's Madness. I felt like here he was going to lead either Crobat or Klefki. That's why I opted to lead with Tapu Koko. He decides to leave with Drud, which is okay. I just go right into my Don fan here as he decides to switch into his Klefki. So then he doubles into his Crobat, probably predicting me to go for EQ or Rocks there. I didn't have rocks on my Dom fan. I had rocks on Mesprit because I felt Dom fan would be better suited with three attacks: Gunk Shot for the Tang, and then I short EQ. EQ. So I, I click EQ here because it really wasn't because I knew he wasn't gonna go Landorus. Probably predicting like the Ice Shard. I probably just in case I went for Ice Shard. Wouldn't go Tang. Wouldn't go. Maybe he could have went Tang Growth, but EQ was just a solid play. I decided early game to attack what was in front of me. And the Klefki was in front of me. Earthquake also prevented. Earthquake also allowed me to scout if he was Magnet Rise. If he got up a layer of spikes, then he takes big damage. Maybe expecting rocks. That turn. But it's fine. He goes. Then he goes Crobat, which is completely okay by me. As he, I just click Ice Charge because I need. I wanted some chip damage on this Crobat. Also to scout his item, see if he's Black Sludge or not. So I just go for Ice Shard, does a decent amount. Is he, is he reveals Super Fang, which is a problem for my team, because Super Fang could easily break down my walls, being this, Don, being this, this Mesprit and Militic. Can't speak English. So that Super Fang is an issue, but a good thing I revealed now. So I don't mind, I don't mind sacking Don Van here, because he did, because Landorus could still be handled by my Mesprit, especially if he's a special set. Like, fully special set. I don't have rocks, and his only rocker is the Dredagon. His only rocker is the Dredagon. Klefki plus Dredagon spike hazard stack can be an issue. But I could definitely play around it. Moza doesn't mind hazards, because it's a Moza. It's not taking any hits. <laughs> You'll see what happens in the end of the battle. So, I do, he U-turns. Probably U-turns. He goes into Tangrowth here. And then I just decide to click Gunk Shot. Just to get some damage off on this tank growth. That damage reveals he's probably sped but spadef in a way. As Giga Drain just ends up killing me. That's fine. I do get the poison, which is nice. As now I just go into Faramosa and just threaten this thing. As he just goes into his Klefki. I decide to U-turn, gain some momentum, and go right into my Tapu Koko. Threatens this Klefki, just threatens everything. He decides to switch into his tank growth as I just click Nature's Madness, get some damage off. Just undo that regenerator completely. As now he goes into this. As I revealed the HP Ice, I also see HP Ice there expecting him to go Landorus. But he goes into this and I'm able to pop his Yachi, which is really, really nice for my Faramosa. Because if I clicked Ice Beam on this thing and he revealed the Yachi and he blew me away with the move, that could have sucked. He did tell me after the game that he did have Sucker Punch on this thing. So, I mean, I mean I'm pretty sure Moza tanks that, actually, because it's a resisted hit. And this thing is yeah, it's okay attack. I don't remember exactly. I think it's base 90. Could be actually higher. I don't know. I haven't... I've used Dredagon like a once in a league. Put down in the comment section below if it's a, if it's higher than 90. I think it's base 90. I could be completely wrong on that, though. So, Gunk Shot probably coming here. I U-turn, thinking... Seeing what he wants to do. Probably wants to get up rocks here. So, I just go into my Dragonite, thinking this is the time to set up. But here I realize I've misplayed. I probably should have went into Faramosa. 
I probably should win to Faramosa, but this but this play here does end up coming in big coming in big for me later in the game. So I just do go in the I do I go in the dragon here because I'm thinking I can start setting up. So and I do there's that. He goes for Dragon Claw. Does nothing because of the multi scale. As now I'm gonna go for the dragon my drone dragon claw here and get able to pick up a kill. So now he goes into his Azu. I don't have Thunder Punch on this thing, so I just go for E Speed for damage because I don't have a switch in this thing and I need to stop him from belly drumming. I couldn't let him belly drum for free there. So I decided to sack Knight, go into my Tapu Coco. As he pulls a switch into his Landorus, as I U turn, I almost click I wanted to click HP Ice there so bad. But I was thinking hmm, he might go for Aqua Jet here, thinking it kills me. So now I go into Mesprit. It was my dedicated answer to this thing. As here I just decide to get up my own get up my own rocks. Which now forces the Crobat to defog if he has it. As he decides now is the time to start spike stacking me. As I just go into Coco here. Really no reason to not just click Nature's Madness, but I do click HP Ice predicting the Lando switch. As he reveals Light Screen, which is a giant pain in the ass because my only moves to hit Landorus now are special. Being Ice Beam from both Mesprit and Faramosa. And really all my mons left are special attack. Well, Faramosa I do have more physical. But my only move to hit Landorus is the HP Ice. I just go for Nature's Madness here because it does, in fact, do more than uh, HP Ice in the light screen. As my own Sh as my Shookaberry does help me out there with the with a different mon than I expected. As now because of the Shookaberry, I was able to kill the Tangrowth with Tapu Coco clicking U-turn. But Coco dies on hazards now, so I just go into my Militic here because really nothing on his team wants to, really nothing on his team breaks Militic well. Goes into his Crobat here. He's probably just going to Roost Stall me because I am Flame Orb. I go for Scald here. I'm trying to burn fish on this thing. Maybe scat his set a bit. And he looks to be an offensive... He looks to be a, not really a bulky set judging by that Scald damage. So I just decided to just continually just click Scald here. He misses the Super Fang, which is unfortunate, but I did click Recover that turn. So I wouldn't have gotten up to full, but I would have recovered most of my HP regardless. As here, I just decide, sack Coco, see what he wants to do here. He roosts, he roosts, he goes for Super Fang again. And now I just go to Mesprit, and I'm able to get some big damage on the Crobat. I probably should have went Faramosa here, because Ice Beam would have definitely killed, but I was fearing he might be, might be Spideff. I should have Calc Scald on it, but whatever. He U-turns into Klefki, now this Crobat is dead to rocks. Meaning, really nice. I, mean, I could still, Fermosa could still bring this back if I'm able to whittle down this Klefki. As he just goes for foul play, kills my Mesprit. As I just go into my Militic here because I didn't want to go Moza just in case he had T Wave. I go for Scald here, doesn't kill it. But the second Scald here will kill it. And by now, his light screen is up, and that's really unfortunate. Lando, Lando does come in, so he's going to be able to kill me with anything here. I clicked Mirror Coat that turn. Just in case I lived and I could have blown this thing back with a mirror coat. Then I just then I get damage on Azu. <laughs> but now my only hope here is that if Faramosa, after these hazards, could live in Aqua Jet from Azu. I go for Ice Beam, it's Faramosa's just too much of a beast. It kills the Lando after the after rocks. I was thinking right now here I've lost this game, because there's no way I could tank an Aqua Jet from Azu. He goes to Aqua Jet, and I live on one! We live in boys. We live in. The invisible focus sash comes through as I poison jab, able to kill the Azu. Crobat dies to hazards. That is your game. GG. We are now 3-4 and four in the ICBA. And crawling our way into playoff contention now. Because we're 3-4, and four, we actually still have a chance to sneak into a playoff spot. Because I think the current holder of the I think the current holder of the last seed is I think three and five is I think four and four. Is either four and four or three and four? I don't remember. I'm not sure if he plays week eight yet as I'm recording this. But anyway, we are crawling back up. We still we're still in this, boys. We're still in this. Faramosa putting the team on his sh the team on his shoulders right there. We live in boys. We live in. We still alive in this. So Spanic out. I will see you guys in next week. I don't remember. I don't know who I play. For all I know, my next week's battle could be the postponed week seven. So Spanic out. I'll see you all then. Peace.